welcome to our latest IDEX Spotlight program here at the show. Now I'm here with Israeli company Raphael. Now these guys are the air defense technology experts. So I'm here with Ariel Caro who is going to tell us really what it is you're showing here and some of it for the first time. Yeah, this is the first time that we present some of our capabilities including the connectivity between the kinetic and the uh, energy-based weapon interceptors. Today, we, we present here the Iron Beam. The Iron Beam is a very unique capability that's based on laser, and we know to how to intercept many kinds of threats from 10 kilometer. We integrate it as one of the, our interceptor in our air defense solutions, like the spider, we can see today, here in a special version of the spider, this is the all-in-one. We took all our capabilities, put them together, so we give the customer the independence to use, and based on the, our unique capabilities, especially the electro-optic. The electro-optic capabilities gave us the opportunity to detect and to be uh, in a very silent mode that the other side can't detect that we search from him and use all the kind of the interceptor, multi-threat. We know how to defend against UAVs, aircraft, missiles and rockets, ballistic missiles and even cruise missiles. No, thank you, Ariel. And I also understand that the technology in here is very sophisticated, but it's also about keeping the cost. It's an economic story as well. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yes, we understand if you prepare yourself to intercept many kinds in, in masses, we think about the cost of the interception. The laser beam, you can use it. it it's, much, uh, it it's much cheaper to intercept because you need to use the laser, it's reused. It's not like every interceptor, every missile that, of course, they are, have their cost. Now, you're here at IDEX. Obviously, the Iron Beam is a big, it's a first here at the show. But you have several other products that have either been shown for the first time or are really something that you're highlighting. Tell us what those are, Ariel. We understand today the importance of the targeting. The targeting, it's both from aircraft and land. How to connect all, with all the your uh, sensors to build a comprehensive picture, to generate targets and to attack in long range, very effective and uh, decrease the collateral damage. At the same time, we make the same in the land capabilities. We call it the NMT. We know how to, to, to use many kinds of sensors, especially the electro-optics, to, to see and generate targets from tens of kilometers and to attack them very accurate with our NLOS that can reach from 32 kilometers in the ground scale or 50 kilometers from the, uh, the air helicopters. Now we're here at this show, it's obviously an international show but it's obviously in the Gulf. Just tell us about your sort of business prospects and where you're really looking to go next, as it were, with your products? We are a governmental company and we are very proud to be a part of the increasing and strengthening the relationship between Israel and our neighbours in the Gulf. Ariel, that's good to hear. We wish you luck at the show. Thank you for explaining all of Raphael's capabilities to us. Thank you very much. Thank you.